How y'all doing? Um, for today's topic, I want to talk about the SWU and home records. Now, we gonna start with the SWU, cause maybe this is gonna be an ad campaign, but I need to tell y'all, please stop being nasty. I don't want to see you <laughs> over every damn thing that you own, I own in the vicinity. I don't want to have to worry about that. Y'all see this? This is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Let me show you what you let me show you what you do with it. It's a little tape on it, so don't worry about that. You see this? You use it. That down. You rub it in. And if you that nasty, you shit, you put it on your face. All on your face. You better maybe drink, toss the bottle up a little bit, get a little IV, put some in your blood. Because some of y'all is just that nasty and y'all really need it. I don't understand how you can be that nasty. That makes me not want to be around you. If you're going to sit up here and cough, what is this? The news be suggesting, wait, you don't even do this no more. You do this. Germs are still going to spread. But if you do this, I have more respect for you. Because you understand that that's spreading germs. But if you're just going to freely cough on everything over here, over there, up here, down there, in between, I don't want to be around you because that's disgusting. That is so nasty. What you do, you invest in a bottle of hand sanitizer. This is my, like I said in the first video, one of my best non-human non being friends. Hand sanitizer. San hmm. Sanitizer. Y'all don't understand. It gets critical. It gets very critical. So, I'm going to need all of you all watching this. Whoever you may be, it may be nobody. So, that mean I did my job. I bought hand sanitizer because I'm going to be the one to watch it. So, hmm. I did my job. I'm going to need everybody that watches this video to get some hand sanitizer. This costs a dollar. No, it's not Purell. It's not. It's not Purell. It's being well. Fuck Purell. Purell is nice. But don't know about you... Just a simple, simple bottle of hand sanitizer. Y'all can see that. A simple bottle of hand sanitizer. It's being well. And what am I doing? I'm being well. Hmm. Some of y'all don't. Okay, see. I done lost the bottle. Hold on. Some of y'all don't know what being well is. So, I'm just going to need y'all to invest in some hand sanitizer. Because every time, all of my friends know this. Every time somebody cough, I will be hand sanitizer. No, it's not. No, if you sneeze. People say, bless you. I say, hand sanitizer. Achoo! Hand sanitizer. Moving on. On to home records. Now, I just got off the phone with my break bro. My break bro. Hmm. My break bro. And I was just talking. Me and him was talking, and he was telling me about somebody that likes him. So I'm just, hmm. Somebody likes you, huh? Well, that's not out of order, because people like me. Me and him getting back together, a whole bunch of people just got really upset when I told them I was in a relationship. But they had to get over that because I got tired of doing what makes everybody else happy. I wanted to do what made me happy, which I should have done from point blank, from the start, from the get-go. But I didn't, and that's my mistake. But I learned from it, and I am happy. Hmm. Hmm. I am very happy. So... Anybody that needs to question that, don't. Don't try and comment me on nothing. But he was telling me somebody likes him. And he was questioning him about his, who he was dating. And uh, he said that he was dating somebody in Chicago. Hmm. So, this, he says if he, something to the effect of what he don't know won't hurt, won't hurt him. Or what he, if he's not here, he won't have to know. I know all of y'all have heard that line from somebody some low life home wrecker, hmm, that just wanted to get something, get, think it's okay to do that. No, you know what I say to home wreckers? Hand sanitizer. Sanitize them bitches too. Them bitches, them hoes, niggas, whoever. Everybody then dealt with at least one home wrecker in their life. And what, 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 why would you want to be this? Do you see this sad face? Y'all might not, but it's a sad face. Right here. Because you all are sad. You all are right before pathetic. But you know what? I'm going to stop saying you all are sad because that makes me take pity upon you. I don't because you know what you're doing. I could see if you were homeless. You had no control over that. It's a sad situation. No. 
you're pathetic. Let me take sad back. It should have just been a little face with, um, if my arm was in here, I would erase that face. It's pathetic. I don't want to be around you. That That is so pathetic. Why do you feel, what, are you, is your self-conscious? Are you just low on self-esteem or something? Your self-esteem just, I'm going to come out the shot. Down here, that you, it's all the way down there where you feel like you have to be a home record trying to steal somebody else's man or woman. To feel happy about your life? Why? Why would you do that? You should. You are capable of, of, of pursuing anybody that you want to. You have a crush on somebody? That's wonderful. When you find out that they are currently in a relationship and it's actually they're actually happy in that, why would you purposely try and destroy that? Why would you try and tear that down? If that's your friend before it's any, anything else, you should be, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that because you are my friend. I appreciate you being in my life. So I'm not going to try and come say that me and you should go do this and that behind your, behind your boyfriend and your girlfriend's back. Why? Why would you do something like that? That is that's that makes me lose respect for anybody that does that. I could see if you had a little polite crush and you just didn't want to tell nobody. But that's fine because you knew they was in a relationship and well, you didn't want to just lose that as a friend. But why would you do that? Then why would you say you're not gonna talk to that person anymore because they in a relationship and you can't have them? But yet you constantly calling and texting somebody. Hmm. Yeah, so why? For what? What do you, why? Come on now. Do you really think that it's just going to go back to normal? Oh, well, I tried to steal your man, but let's be friends. What did I say about them? What, what is it? Hand sanitizer. The swoo is critical, and the swoo comes in different forms. The swoo comes in the swoo, you, the swine flu, H1N1. It's called capital R, called a recession. We can't afford to say, we can't afford to say swine flu or H1N1. It's the swoo. They come in different forms. The swoo come in medical. The swoo comes in emotional and physical. Home record. And if you're dumb enough to let that home record convince you to do something that you know, not up here, but you know what? Yeah, up here, as well as in here. In here. That you know is not right. Why? why? For what? How am I on time? Okay, I got seven minutes. Why? For what? What? Why? I don't get it. So you're going to let that person talk you into doing this and doing that, knowing that you have somebody that's good to you at home. That's why I'm glad I got me a good one. Hmm. I got me a real good one. And I'm happy as shit to have this person in my life. In my life. Hmm. Some of y'all just need that good person in y'all life. And I understand because some people go through hard times and they don't know where their head is at. But shit, find it before you find me. Because I don't want to be around you. And you trying to talk to me knowing that I'm already in a happy relationship. That That's just, that that's pretty much it for right now. I might come back with another video discussing this topic. But what did I tell y'all to do? Whether you got a medical problem. Or you got an emotional, physical, some type of problem. Hand sanitizer. Good day. I said good day.